What about the massive dudes on TikTok lately? Gear. 100%. I don't know who you're talking about, but I can promise you it's likely on gear. So many people are, try to make the claim about being fake natty, which is what PewDiePie's whole video was about. It's very evil stuff to make that claim. But now it's starting to become cool to just talk about your stack. So, I mean, I guess the honesty is better, but it's still kind of glorifying and normalizing the use of steroids to young, impressionable, insecure people. Here's another thing I wanted to talk about real quick. I guess it loosely, it doesn't really loosely tie into that, but since like gear was mentioned, I'm very curious as to, cause I don't really go on like fitness Instagram and shit, but I know it's a huge prevalent issue. Did you guys know that in the UK, apparently steroids are the second most purchased drug, I think? I think it was second, uh, like late last night, and I can't remember exactly if it was the second, but it's either the second or third most purchased drug in the UK. So, like, there's very much a huge resurgence of steroid popularity. And it all stems, allegedly, from this, like, instant gratification of social media where everyone you see online needs to have this physique and to stay like standing out in the fitness industry they feel that they need to be like crazy jacked and ripped so apparently everyone's hopping on gear and i was watching fillion's video covering this fillion does a lot of coverage over like fake natty stuff gear all of that and it was just really insightful because i guess i was kind of blind to just how big of a deal it was pewdiepie made this video last year talking about how every fitness celebrity is pretending to be natural when they're not and they're peddling products under the false pretense that you can look like them when realistically you can't kind of like the liver king how the liver king preaches the ancestral tenets and all that even though he's got a crazy stack he is the result of steroids and now vice released this and i know vice has kind of fallen off but this is actually a really interesting piece they did here on steroid usage and just how common it is so I just want to give this blanket advice to everyone out there. Don't believe fitness influencers who are making crazy claims about like what they do to get jacked and ripped. If it looks unnatural, it most likely is. And no amount of buying their protein powders or their multivitamins and supplements and all that is going to get you anywhere close to what they look like. I just want to throw that out there. Because one, one thing I have talked about is there's a lot of shit that prey on insecure men. And I guess this is a huge one now. So just be aware. You will not look like those fitness Instagram models and all of that. Unless you're doing gear. Which you shouldn't do. And also if you're interested, definitely check out this Vice documentary. Or even Fillion's video going over it. Because he does a really good job covering it too. It's super interesting. I guess if you find the fitness in industry interesting. Thanks to the gift member, Luca and Raymond. I heard about that a little bit, Bobson, but I didn't look into the cheating scandal with Michigan. And thanks to the tier 2 Prozac and the Prime. NY. Resub Panda. But why are they so bad if you look so good? <laughs> True. How could it be bad when I look good? <laughs> I know. It, you won't look like The Rock just by hard work and dedication in the gym. I'm sorry to tell you. You can get a crazy physique while being natural, but you'll never get a physique like some of the shit you see popping off online now. And no, I did not hear about that harvest. Thanks to the membership optic and the resub thick. It's how you die from heart issues. Well, yeah. Uh, there's plenty of issues from it. But yeah, cardiovascular, probably the biggest. Thanks to resub thick. You want to know a fun one? And the Vice documentary has a whole section on it. I obviously can't show it on stream. Uh, gynecomastia. So basically, as you're abusing the, the roids, there is a chance you just start developing titties. And then what a lot of men do... And in this documentary, it's very interesting, there is a surgeon who says that he does two to three gynecomastia surgeries per day. And basically, they suck the titty out of you. They take your nipple off and they suck all the fat out in order to make you not have tits anymore. So it's, it's, there's a lot of issues that can come from it. 
Also, a very this whole doc, uh, this whole documentary is so fucking interesting. They actually talk to a steroid maker, and this man is whipping his this shit up in the kitchen. Man's combining like very simple material. They, they don't go over like the formula or anything clearly, but he makes it sound like it's super easy. Basically, like seed oils and then like simple to gather things. He says it's not a complicated process. He's dressed up like a burglar out of like payday or something, but you know he's using mouthwash and and spit making these steroids, selling them, and he says his main clientele is 16 to 24-year-olds. 16 to 24-year-olds buying this. That's tragic. Oh my god. Thank you for that, trucking. Thank you for the huge drop. Oh, and Kristoff. Good god, thank you for that. I really appreciate the generosity. Hope you're having a good day, Kristoff, and trucking. Is the resub vod? You don't need it at sixteen. You don't need it at any age, man. It's just everything is this vying for attention or vying for an online career. And the fitness space, Fillion said it best. You know, everyone talks about how there's really no barriers to entry when it comes to like making content online. But if you want to get into the fitness industry, there is like an untold barrier of entry, and it's steroids. In order to stand out there, you have to look great, and a lot of the physiques you're competing with are not natural. So in order to compete, you've got to be not natural. You're going to have to get a stack. And it's a vicious cycle. Terrible. Fucks you for a long, long time. Yeah, we probably will do more, Austin. I think so. It was a lot of fun. Synthol, then. Hey, synthol if you want your arms to explode, I guess. You can still easily die from synthol, but your arms will blow up first. Have you seen the Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta gameplay? I have not yet. So is a natural person more strong? No. Not at all. Being on gear makes you like an actual superhuman, but it comes at a huge price to your overall health. But uh, you'll likely live longer, which I think is probably the optimal position. Probably the goal, really, I would say. Thanks, Enigmatic. What about the massive dudes on TikTok lately? Gear. 100%. I don't know who you're talking about, but I can promise you it's likely on gear. So many people are, try to make the claim about being fake natty, which is what PewDiePie's whole video was about. It's very evil stuff to make that claim. But now it's starting to become cool to just talk about your stack. So, I mean, I guess the honesty is better, but it's still kind of glorifying and normalizing the use of steroids to young, impressionable, insecure people. Thanks to the resub gamer man. Fake natties are worse. Oh, they're definitely worse. Like, the honesty about the gear you're on, I think, is much better. But it's still not a good thing to promote or normalize or glorify. It's still bad. Is the gyno surgery expensive? I don't know how expensive it is. I'll tell you, this guy's making fucking bank off it, though. Doing two to three of these a day is nuts. Where's the guy? Where is he? This guy. This guy is making tons of money. And no, I haven't, I haven't seen the new Chris Chan stuff. I just know Chris Chan's back. Did I ever think about using roids when I was younger? Nope. I'm way too much of a hypochondriac for that. The only thing I ever did was a creatine, which is totally fine. I mean, I, I guess you, maybe there's a way to abuse it. I didn't. That's a pretty hard one to abuse, I imagine, though. This is the prime, John. But no, I never did, like, actual roids or anything. One round of Trin won't hurt, right? <laughs> yeah, it's probably not gonna hurt. Right. Thanks, <laughs> there be some sporadic. Oh yeah, I know Sam Sulek. I've seen his content. I don't think he makes the claim of being natty. Like, I don't think he's going around saying he's natty or anything. But uh, from what I've heard from him, he seems like a nice guy. Like, he seems like a good person. From what, uh, I haven't seen a lot, admittedly. Maybe, maybe he's a huge asshole and I don't know it. But he seems like a wholesome guy. I don't think he's trying to promote anything dangerous. He just goes. He's got his split. He works out hard. Seems, he seems fine. I don't have any like negative impressions of him. I did see a video of him, I think it was a TikTok, 
where he was giving a, uh, I think it was a breakdown of back day, like before doing it, and I actually got worried for his health because he was struggling to breathe during that one. I'm not exactly sure if it was like the result of maybe a warm up or something, but I when I first saw him and I saw that, I was a little concerned. But that was the only one I saw where he was really doing that, so I'm not sure. I like the boys. I haven't watched Gen V yet. And no, I didn't hear that at all, Lace. That's terrible. He's open about how he uses PEDs. Good, as he should be. You see the recent news on Jack Owak being forced to pay damages due to Instagram post bashing Bang? Oh. They got him with that? Uh-oh. <laughs> 